Picture this, a garden that looks lush from afar but, upon closer inspection, reveals drooping plants, dry patches, and sluggish growth. You've added compost, you water faithfully. Still, something's missing. The truth is, many of us are gardening on soil that's quietly starving. Not just for nutrients, but for structure, moisture, and life. This isn't just about poor harvests or yellowing leaves. It's about a deeper, invisible crisis. Soil degradation is creeping into our backyards, our raised beds, and our planters. Organic matter is vanishing faster than we can replace it. Microbial life struggles to thrive. Water drains too quickly, or worse, lingers and suffocates the roots. The result? Plants that don't reach their full potential and gardens that need more and more inputs just to survive. But what if there was an ancient, almost forgotten method that could reverse this decline? What if a simple, natural material could lock in moisture, hold nutrients like a sponge, and create a haven for beneficial microbes? The answer is black, porous, and often misunderstood. It's biochar, and it might just be the secret your garden has been waiting for. Stick with me for the next few minutes because we're about to explore one of the most powerful soil solutions known to gardeners across centuries and continents. And best of all, you can make it right at home. So what exactly is biochar? Well, it's not just burned wood. Biochar is actually a form of charcoal that's made under controlled conditions with minimal oxygen, a process we call pyrolysis. The result is this lightweight, carbon-rich material that's absolutely riddled with tiny pores. And you know these microscopic cavities are what really make biochar such a powerhouse when it comes to improving soil. Let's start with water. Biochar acts just like a sponge. Once it's charged with moisture and nutrients, it can actually hold on to them for much longer than ordinary soil can. This means your plants stay hydrated even during dry spells, and they get a slow, steady release of nutrients over time. So, no more of those boom-and-bust fertilizer cycles. Now think about microbes. Soil life, bacteria, fungi, earthworms, need shelter just like we do. Biochar provides a physical structure, a safe haven where microbes can multiply, thrive, and work symbiotically with your plant roots. And let's talk results. Gardeners who've used biochar often report greener leaves, faster growth, stronger stems, and better resistance to drought. You can even run a simple experiment at home, plant two identical crops, one with biochar amended soil, and one without. Watch closely, within weeks the difference becomes impossible to ignore. The magic of biochar isn't limited to your backyard. When we bury biochar in our soil, we're actually participating in carbon sequestration. That's right, we're locking away carbon that would otherwise return to the atmosphere as carbon dioxide, contributing to climate change. So this means your personal compost pile or fire pit could actually have global consequences. By turning garden waste into biochar, you're transforming what would otherwise be air pollution into long-term soil fertility. And if you multiply that by thousands or even millions of gardeners worldwide, you really start to see the impact. But you know, it doesn't stop there. Biochar reduces the need for synthetic fertilizers, which are pretty energy-intensive to produce and often end up being harmful to waterways. Plus, it cuts down on irrigation needs, helping to conserve water, a resource that's becoming more precious in more places every year. And because biochar is incredibly stable, it actually remains in the soil for hundreds, even thousands of years. So, when you use biochar, you're not just feeding your plants. You're healing your land. You're contributing to a regenerative gardening model that respects the earth. You're becoming part of the solution. Now, let's roll up our sleeves. Making biochar at home isn't just possible, it's surprisingly simple if done safely. You'll need some dry, untreated biomass. Things like small branches, corn stalks, dried leaves, or pruning waste. And oh, make sure to avoid anything painted, chemically treated, or contaminated. You'll also need a basic setup. A metal barrel with a few air holes can become your backyard biochar kiln. 
So, the key here is pyrolysis. That basically means heating the biomass in a low oxygen environment. And, you know, one common method for this is a top-lit updraft system. You load your barrel tightly with the dry material, then ignite it from the top. As the flame burns downward, it consumes the volatile gases and, well, leaves behind pure carbon. Let it burn until the flames die down and you start seeing those glowing embers. At this point, you must quench it. Pouring water over the char to stop combustion and preserve the carbon structure. This step is really critical. If you let it burn to ash, you've lost the biochar. Once cooled and fully dry, your biochar is ready. But here's a key step most people miss. Charging it. Fresh biochar is inert and can actually rob nutrients from the soil until it's filled. So soak it in compost tea, worm leachate, or even diluted urine for a few days. Let it absorb those nutrients and beneficial microbes. Then, and only then, is it ready to go into your soil. There's no one-size-fits-all way to use biochar. That's part of the beauty. In raised beds, mix it into your compost before adding it to the soil. It'll help hold moisture and nutrients right where plant roots need them. In in-ground beds, you can dig it into the top 6 inches of soil, or blend it with mulch and let it slowly integrate over time. For potted plants, a little goes a long way. Blend 5-10% to biochar into your potting mix, especially for those thirsty herbs or heat-sensitive vegetables. Over time, you'll notice better water retention and healthier root growth. And here's the best part. Biochar doesn't disappear. It's not like compost that breaks down or manure that leaches away. Once in your soil, biochar stays, season after season. Its benefits really compound. Each year you add more, your garden becomes more resilient, more fertile, and more alive. This is a long-term investment in your soil's health. You're building a living foundation that will serve you and your plants for years to come. So now you know, biochar isn't just a curiosity, it's a game changer for your tomatoes, for your roses, for your future harvests and the planet itself. So, we've talked about the crisis hiding in your soil, the ancient solution reborn, and, you know, how you can become a backyard biochar alchemist starting today. If this guide has sparked something in you, don't let it stop here. Start making your own, share your experiments, watch your garden transform, and then share that transformation with the world. Because honestly, when we change how we treat our soil, we change everything. If this video helped you rethink your soil's potential, subscribe to Botanical Bliss for more deep dive guides like this. Leave a comment below if you've tried biochar or plan to, and share this with a fellow gardener who needs to hear it. Let's bring our soil back to life, one charred twig at a time. Subscribe to Botanical Bliss for real regenerative gardening that works.